But then again, the Cowboys, you know, they're still searching for some money and some type of contract to sign C.D. Lamb. Now, you know, we talked about and Daniel Dak. Jones yeah, and Dak. So now, just before we change subjects and talk about David, because I've always wanted to know this too, and that seems like it's almost more even feasible. But, you know, Daniel Jones doesn't have the type of season that we need him to have, regardless of injury. Do you foresee if they don't sign Dak Prescott, Dak Prescott coming over to the Giants? Or you think the Giants are just going to end up drafting somebody or, you know, because I don't see Drew Locke becoming the face of the, the new quarterback and neither Tommy not. DeVito. <laughs> Ho- hopefully not. So we, ta- we talked about this a couple of months ago. Dak in the regular season is awesome, right? He would the, the If the Giants got Dak and they kept Brian Dable as the coach, we would be a playoff team every single year. Every single year. But mm-hmm. the thing that stops me from wanting to do it is how – he chokes every year in the playoffs. Yeah. Like how many years? And Jerry Jones is fed up with it. He he yeah, basically said it the other day, where yeah. he's like, he's like, you know, we we've got a lot. Of, we are all in on this year. Yeah, and we will see how the playoffs go this year because we are all in on this year. Basically saying like, if you choke in the playoffs again, I'm not bringing you back. Type of shit. Jerry hasn't liked Dak since since they replaced Romo. His boy, it feels like it felt like there was always something there. You know, I, yeah, I understand they, what your point is though. Yeah, yeah, and but at some point, like you do have to judge him on the playoffs. And that's the yeah, question because he's going to get $60 million minimum per year. Yeah. Are you going to give that to a guy who's just shown up the smallest and the biggest moments, right? Yeah. If he was even just like an average quarterback in the playoffs where he like had some bad games, some really good ones, then I, I would be all in on it. But I just, I can't give $60 million to a guy who, you know, throws more interceptions than touchdowns when it matters the most. And I don't, I don't, and I, and um, Shane seems to be not scared to pull the trigger, but he also seems to be fiscally aware of, of, of you know, of where the team needs to be financially. Yeah. Um, I still think Dak ends up in Dallas, anyways. I do too. I do too. They're gonna, I, I think they're gonna have to. But my question, you know, to piggyback off what, what my partner says, um, what I fear is, and what probably what a lot of Giants fans fear is, the Giants are middle of the road this year or slightly above average. You know, last year was the 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 the, the, the um, QB, excuse me, the QB heavy uh, draft. Yeah. You know, I'm not so sure what they look like this year. I haven't done as much research, but my fear is we don't draft six this year. We're in the lower first round, and we don't have a guy sitting there. Then we're kind of in no man's land. Yeah, that's the issue with you know. That's why I thought that they would draft JJ McCarthy. I, right. I think they would. I thought they were like, you know what, we don't really have any answer long term this now i didn't want jj mccarthy i wanted either you know caleb was never going to happen but i would have taken drake may or Jaden, yeah. and i would have traded up for them right yeah for sure. um but i just didn't want i just don't think jj mccarthy is a, a quarterback you build around i no, think he I can agree. look good on the vikings i don't think he's a qb you just consistently that he lifts all everybody up but the flip side of that is like like you said we have like the the answer to quarterback for the giants is to get lucky that they are in a spot where they can draft one and it's someone they can believe, whether, like you said, it's someone that falls to the teens that they believe in and other guys don't. Yeah. Or, you know, or, you know, there might not even be QBs in this class. So right. that's the, and that's what, you know, makes the DAC thing interesting because that, yeah. that probably would be their best option to upgrade the team next year would be the signed DAC if he actually does hit free agency. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's the shitty thing about, you yeah, know, not getting the trade for the QB is like the answer is just the the answer is to hope you get lucky and, and find yourself in the right spot. 